Oi friends, uh, we've already rigged our zombie, so now we're going to animate him. Before we do that, I'll just want to make sure he's ready to be imported into Unity. So I'll just select both the armature and the model, press RX minus 90, and then I'll press Ctrl A to apply the location, rotation, and scale. And then RX 90 to bring him back. And you can see that uh, his rotation now here is 90, which is correct because Blender and Unity don't use the same metric system or something. Let's uh, export him first the model so I'll just shift and then shift select everything else and then I'll, I'll go file export FBX I'll go down to FBX I'll go zombie new folder for zombie and then I'll save this as zombie FBX limit to selected objects I want to export the armature and the mesh you can do this by again shift selecting and then apply scaling for FBX unit scale and export good now let's animate him so I'll go over to the animation tab and I'll make sure I can see him in both views and here in this view I'll just select the armature and then go to pose mode down here I'll set the end frame to 24 I think that's enough for our animations again and I'll just kind of center it in here. Then I'll go to keying, active keying set, and location, rotation, and scale. And then I'll change this to a action editor. And that should be fine. So now we're set up to go animate. Uh, let's just save this file so we can have it for later maybe. Uh, I'll save this as zombie anim. Save as. Okay. And now I'll go ahead and save again, and this will be zombie idle, just so we don't overwrite that file. Uh, I'll go ahead and give it a new file here, idle. And let's make the idle animation. Should be pretty simple. Uh, most likely, uh, you can do whatever you want. It's your, it's your zombie, okay? Uh, I'll just move this down, and if the arm is kind of not straight, you can use this pole bone to kind of straighten it out that's good it's quite a beefy zombie if you don't want to copy it to the other side you can just select this arm with the pole uh, bone control C control shift V and it will paste it to the other side now the fingers I should have probably done earlier but let's go to uh, local take all these fingers R X to kind of move them in and do it for all the fingers just like that just like that and this one I'll RY or sorry RX again and then just kind of make a fist of sorts now since it's a zombie you can maybe flatten out one finger because it's broken or something something like that and maybe this finger is completely on the other side just like that that's a bit rough okay that's a bit hardcore but we're not gonna do that my bad I'll just copy the arm here or the palm copy control shift V to paste to the other side and now he looks like a gang member so I'll just randomize it on the other side maybe a bit just like that maybe something like that okay now he looks quite okay I think uh, for the body I'll just take this root bone and I'll press G and Y to kinda move him down I want him to be a bit slouched and then I'll take this part and also rotate around the x-axis um, just so he can uh, Again, so he looks a bit slouched over. The head, I'll just kind of move backwards, just like that. And then the arms, I want to move a bit forward as well. So let's go to global, G and Y, and kind of have him like that. Now his feet are not straight, so I'll just take them, press R, R X, and kind of just flatten them on the ground, just like that. Uh, one hand, for example, I'll move a bit more up, and one will be slouched, and then I'll... I'll just kind of rotate him onto that slouched side and this hand can kind of stand there. And maybe I'll move this bone forward or just rotate it and then move this one back so he looks more fucked up. Then I'll press A and I to select it. This is its idle pose. I'll go to frame 24, press I again. And in the middle, I might just kind of make him breathe a bit by moving this back, moving the head forward so it kind of or the neck forward so it doesn't matter and now if you press space from the first frame you can see how he's breathing kind of slowly uh, I'll also move one of his arms a bit more up and this arm a bit more down press I on both of those bones 
and you can see his arm is kind of swinging in the wind a bit now his legs are not moving so very very small detail I'll just move this a bit down and then make sure I rotate these so they're flat on the ground just a bit press I as well and now you have a zombie that kind of breathes and everything yeah so this is the idle animation pretty simple for the zombie maybe you can make his head a bit you know kind of broken or his neck going to the other side might make him look more zombie-ish but yeah this is the idle animation let's export it go into object mode select the armature file export FBX and then this will be zombie idle okay and I'll just put it in there uh, again just the uh, no we this time we will want just the armature and limit to selected objects apply scaling for the FBX unit scale export good now we'll want a walk animation if your zombies can run then you probably want a sprint animation as well I don't so we'll just do the walking animation I'll save this and I'll go file save as and I'll save this uh, as the zombie walk save as good uh, and now uh, I'll go into pose mode press A to select everything X to delete the middle frames just select the top one and it will select everything under it um, currently he doesn't move but this is the pose we want to start and end in for the walking so I'll go over to the uh, first frame and I'm guessing he'll go right foot first so inside view just kind of move this leg a bit forward and the other leg a bit back just like that and then for the arms I'll just leave them as is for now press A press I to uh, insert the keyframes Control C to copy Control V to paste onto the last frame and press I now for the 12th frame I'll just go Control shift V and press I this is because we copied this pose and then it will, it's gonna flip it to the other side and you can already see how kind of looks okay okay for the sixth frame I want this right foot or left foot to kind of touch the ground so I'll just make it flat right like that press I and then I'll copy and then control shift V onto the 18th frame press I or sorry select the other bone and press I or the other side and now he kind of steps forward okay on the sixth frame I also want this leg to kind of this other leg to kind of bend more just like that press I and on the 18th frame you can just do the same thing rotate around the x-axis and now his foot is kind of gonna look more in motion okay but in the in this first keyframe when his leg is like this I'll actually just move it back so it looks more natural I'll copy it onto the last frame press I and then control shift V onto the middle frame and press I and now his legs look a bit a bit more decent uh, but his arms are not doing much so whenever he uh, ste steps onto his right leg I want him to kinda dip forward or dip to that side so I'll just take the spine to bone rotate around the Z axis press I and then kinda make sure that the head is still facing in the middle press I and then uh, I'll kind of R, R Y to that side and then R X a bit more forward press I and now when he steps on that foot you can see he kind of leans forward puts all his weight onto that and I want to do the same thing for the 18th frame so I'll just kind of rotate him to that side uh, a bit forward and then to that side and then kind of move the arm a bit I think that's fine um, select those bones that you changed and press I and you can see he kind of now slouches forward uh, that's a pretty good walk for me I'll just rename it to walk here uh, I'll save it and then I'll take the armature file export FBX and then this will be the zombie walk again you just want the armature and the FBX unit scale here and selected objects and export so now we have the walk animation and uh, probably only other one I want is like the attack animation so I'll go ahead and say I'll open the uh, I'll open the zombie um, idle, and from this one I think I should work out the the attack animation. So I'll just go file save as because I don't want to change the idle animation. I'll go ahead zombie attack. Okay, you can have more attack animations. 
I'll show you how to, uh, you know, in Unity apply more attack animations, but I'll just have one. And for me, I'll just go attack here, rename that. And uh, I think I want it to be a lot shorter, so I don't want it to be 24 frames. I think I'll go for like 12 and then I'll press A, uh, delete the frames from the 12th frame and then just take this one and G to move it onto the 12th frame. So now he has the same beginning and the end pose. And for the attack, I think I just want to want him to kind of lunge forward, kind of scratch me or something like that. So he's going to box me like that. Uh, I'll just move this arm forward and then G and Y to really move it forward and G and Z to move it up. If your hand flips out, then uh, just use the pole to kind of change it. And then you can again select this, press I, copy, control, shift V to select to paste the other side and press I. And now you can see he kind of goes there. Now I don't want him to just kind of pull his hands up. So on the frame three, I'll actually make his hands go a bit backward like that. And I'll use the pole bone to kind of make it look like they're going outwards. So he kind of puts his both hands up and then swings around. Okay. So I'll just again select this part that I changed, press I, copy, control, shift V, and just kind of do that and press I. And now he kind of goes backwards and lunges forward. But on the fourth frame, you can see it's a bit, bit of a weird thing going on. So I'll just kind of move his hands out a bit and then the pole bone a bit down. So again, once you make the changes, select it, press I, copy and then control shift V select the other side and press I and now he can kind of swing and kind of attack I also want him to kind of lean forward at the tipping point here so he's gonna lean forward here just like that to attack make sure you press I on those bones and now he leans forward but his uh, hips and legs stay pretty much the same which is not something I want. Uh, and also for the head here, I'll just kind of move it back a bit. So he's, I don't know, scared or something. Reckless, just like that. So he now attacks. Yeah, but we should probably move his legs. So this point on the sixth frame, his leg should probably, one should probably step back. So I'll go with the right leg, kind of move it back a bit, just like that, and then just place it down and make sure I press I. I also move this other leg a bit forward and make sure it's flat on the ground just like that so he kinda used a bit of force in it makes sense okay and on the fourth and third frame or actually on the fourth frame I'll just move this leg a bit up and on the third frame I'll move this one a bit up and now he kinda jumps a bit and does does his thing I don't know I think it's a pretty cool attack you guys might not like it, like it but I'll save it select the armature file export FBX and this will be the zombie attack uh, I don't know where I saved it anymore this will be armature selected objects FBX unit scale and I'll just export it anywhere doesn't really matter I'll find it Okay, today we made some good animations and next time we're going to import him into Unity and get the zombie enemy working. Okay now, bye bye.